So I mounted a backrest on the 2020 Street Glide. Now I've got a back injury and I want something that's gonna have plenty of adjustment and I can do it while I'm riding. I also did an extra modification that was not in the directions I'm gonna point out to you to give yourself the ability to move back a little bit more than what it was designed for from the factory. The factory design basically gives you straight up and down to protruding yourself forward. It's not always the most comfortable position. Now when you're on the highway and you've been on the highway for a while, you wanna be able to move around a little bit it's worked great. I had this on my last uh, Ultra, put plenty of miles on it. That's why I went back to it. You can go to Amazon. You can find them a lot cheaper on Amazon. I don't know the quality of that. I don't know how well the adjustments work on those and I don't know how long they would last. So I went back with what I know works. It's one thing you know about the Harley products. When you buy from them, spend a little bit more, but know you got something that's gonna last. So let me show you the install. And uh, it's it's finished product, but I'm going to show you exactly what it took to do the install, where everything goes, and the modification to give yourself a little bit more room. Okay, so this comes in three different pieces. This is the actual main assembly. Now, this comes completely assembled. This is a piece. This whole assembly is a piece. This cable is a separate piece. And this little mounting bracket down here is a third piece well let me say actually there's a fourth piece because the cable runs to this mount so let me explain how we did this so as you start this process you will first come over and pull out the little clip on oh, this little clip here on the side there's one on each side just so you can pull this up out of the way you don't have to disconnect it you just pull it up out of the way then this bracket, as you can see, this bracket is separate from the main. You just put that down, you put the bracket down, you put your two bolts through, you reach, you'll be able to reach underneath here once you pull this off and start the nuts on here by hand. Now you can just leave them on there loose. You don't actually have to tighten them down. You don't wanna tighten them down until you get this bolt in and these bolts on because you want everything to have a little bit of room to get everything started then tighten it all down at the same time. But here's note to self. Now this is something I did that I did not do on the Ultra. This bracket right here on the bottom, it shows when you mount this, that this bracket goes behind this bracket. As you can see, it comes down and I overlapped it over the front. It shows that I was supposed to overlap it, or not overlap it, I was supposed to go behind it, tuck it in behind it. So instead of this bracket being on top of this bracket, this bracket would have been behind the bracket. Now in order to make this these holes line up, once I moved this in front, I had to make the hole slightly bigger. So my next step was to take the bracket the whole bracket back off of the bike and drill that out. Now that will give you more room and I'll show you that in just a second. So I did not want to make the hole bigger as far as using just a bigger overall round drill bit. I wanted to make the hole longer. I wanted to elongate the hole to where when I put it in place, my bolt would go through. You'll understand completely when you put this in place. So what I did was I took the bracket back off of the motorcycle. I used a drill bit that was the right size that already fit in the hole and I just elongated the hole. Now, when I did that, of course, I was exposing raw metal. I used a little bit of touch-up paint, whatever touch-up paint you have. I had black, so I put black on it. But uh, whatever you've got for touch-up paint for your car, you know, if you had a different color, that's fine. You're just protecting it uh, from the elements. And of course, you're gonna be covering it up so nobody's ever gonna see it. So once I drilled this hole out that was in this bracket, this bracket down here is still loosely mounted to the bike, never touched it. Just this bracket, just this main piece, take it off, elongate the hole, allow this bracket to overlap the front. And what this does is when the bracket goes in front versus behind, it changes, it changes the bracket get in focus here, it changes the bracket from being mounted on the bike this way to coming up. Now when 
the nose of this bracket comes up, that means your backrest is also going to come up. So here is the seat in position with it overlapping. When I say overlap, again, I'm talking about the bottom, the big bracket overlapped the, the front bracket. So this lip is out in front. That changed that angle. It brought it up a little bit. And in turn, when I'm leaning against the backrest, I'm now here. Before, when I leaned against it, I would have been about here. Now that does add up. I'll show you with the seat on the bike in a minute and you'll see the difference. So again, it was mounted about here and now I'm back here. You might say, well, I only get a quarter inch, but this quarter inch ish that you're moving the bracket to the front, that adds up by the time you get all the way back here. So let me show you the next step. So at this point, you've got your bottom bracket still on, loosely mounted. You've taken your main bracket off, you elongated the hole a little bit, touched up the paint, let it dry, and you put this bolt, you put it back on the bike, put this bolt in, and you put these two bolts on. Once you have everything in place, you got two, three, four, five bolts all in place, loosely mounted. You know everything's good at that point. It's sitting on the bike nice and centered. You tighten them all down. You go through and you just tighten all five down. Now, this hardware comes with the kit. This washer comes with the kit. This turns by hand and this comes on your bike already. It's already mounted on your bike. So you just took it off and screw it right back on. It does have this plastic washer underneath to protect the paint. And of course, you're gonna leave that in place. It protects the paint and it also holds the thread uh, of this bolt through. So when you screw this hand, hand turn on, you see basically this knot on, it's uh, holding that bolt underneath in place. So, okay, so now this whole assembly is now mounted to the bike. At this point, you will not have the cable on yet. You will not have the side adjustment on yet. So that brings us to our next step. This is the adjustment for the backrest. Now you mount this on and you're gonna love this because this is just at any point, you just lean against it and you can pull up and adjust your backrest. Pulling it up will make it come forward. And uh, so when you pull it up and lean against it, you can make it go backwards. So you can adjust it at any point while you're riding. Now to mount this bracket, this bracket comes in and this little piece is separate. So you just put this piece onto the bracket, make sure you've got it right side up and not upside down. And it comes with a little screw and nut for the back and you just mount this to your bracket. Then take your bracket and mount it to the bike. Now I'll show you back behind here. You can see when you mount it to the bike, there's one bolt at the top and a little metal clip at the bottom so it can't slide anywhere. This is, falls right inside here and it can't go anywhere. On your top side, you have this one bolt. Now this bolt, when you originally try to put your bracket on, you'll have a plug wire in the way. This plug wire will be over here. It'll just pop right out. And there's a hole, like in this bike, there's a hole in the frame already. So I just moved it over to a new spot. Now, if you don't have this, the kit comes with a little plastic sticker uh, that sticks onto the bike. Just clean it well with alcohol, get it prepped so you can stick the sticker where it won't, it's not gonna come off later. And then just clip your wire into the little sticker that they provide. Otherwise, if you're like this bike, you can just pop it out, use the same factory clip and put it right into the new hole. Now, once you get that wire out of the way, this bracket is just gonna go, you're just gonna slide this bracket in place. You're gonna use the bolt and washer they provide and you're gonna screw it right in to the existing thread that's in the motorcycle. The frame actually has a threaded hole 
right here. So this will go right in. Now you might have a little bit of powder coat that you have to clean out depending on the bike. Some bikes have a little bit of powder coat residue left in the threads. You use a little round wire brush into that hole and clean that out if you have to. A lot of them won't. You can just screw it right in, no problem. If your bike is an older bike, you don't have that threaded nut already on the frame. And for that, you'll just have a regular hole. Now it doesn't come with a nut to put on the back, it comes with a clip. It's a little U-shaped clip and it just goes into this hole in the frame. If you can see, this is a hole in the frame. So I can stick my finger into the hole and feel the back of this, I can feel the back of this bolt. Now you just put your clip, of course, with the threads on the back side and the clip holds it in place. Then when you put your bracket on, you have a threaded hole and again, you just screw your bolt right in. So it depends on your model. Newer models, it's already, uh, the frames are already threaded for it. The older models, this kit comes with a clip to put in place. So that's how easy it is to mount the bracket on the side. So you mounted the bracket on the top, the actual hardware where your backrest sits, you got the bracket now mounted to the side. And the only thing left to do is to hook up your cable. Now. You go ahead and set your cable up. Your cable just runs through here and clips in. You should, you should do that, run your cable in and clip it in before you bolt this on, so that way it's easier to access. Okay, so we're back to the top. Looking at the switch on the side, you've got your cable running out of the bottom. It tucks in. It comes up right here and you run it right along the frame, down, curve it around, right next to the cylinder, and it clips right in the place. Clips right in here, kind of like an old school bicycle, and a little groove that it falls into. Now to keep this in place, use a little zip tie, Put it on the cylinder and that's it the kit calls it done right there along with the adding a zip tie or two to the frame to keep it nice and tight i did add a little bit of blue masking tape as you see here now that blue masking tape will peel off easy if it's on here for a few years it may leave a little bit of glue residue behind which i could easily clean off with some goo gone but I don't want to take a chance on it scuffing the paint, even though it's underneath the seat. So, overview of that. This cable is in place. You can see it inside, how it clipped in place. You did, you ran the cable there before. You, I say before, before you mounted the bracket, you mount the bracket to the bike. You run the cable through. You put a couple of zip ties on, so it's nice and solid in place. You run it back, add some tape if you want. Factory doesn't say anything about doing that. You bring it around, you clip it in place, and you zip tie it. And now you're done. It's completely mounted to the bike. Now, one thing I want to throw out there to you is that I added this extra rubber to the top of the spring. The top of this... The metal from the end of the spring was a, well, the thickness of the metal and it stuck out a little bit. Now that could possibly rub on part of the seat at some point and I just want to be safe on that. So I took a little piece of rubber. This is actually just from a uh, battery post. Put a screwdriver behind the, the spring a little bit so I could work that tip of the spring and work it forward and I just slid this rubber grommet over the top of it. Uh, this little rubber post that was for the battery. So you can put anything you want on it. Some people cut it off, use a little Dremel tool and cut the top of that spring off, um, you know, a little bit lower. I wanted to leave it right where it was. I just added the rubber tip to the top of it. So protect any part of the seat from ever uh, chance touching it. Now to give you a quick overview, you mounted the bottom bracket, you mounted this bracket after you elongated the hole, you added your bolt, you added these nuts on the top, you tighten those five down. 
You tighten down one, two, three, four, five. You take your cable, you stubbed it through, had it sticking out over here. You put it on your bracket. You had pre-assembled this bracket. You had, had this bracket, you screwed it to this one. These two screws, couple nuts in the back. You put your cable on it, put your cable onto the bracket. You put the bracket onto the frame and you attached it. Throw a couple zip ties on. You bring your bracket around. You attach it, zip tie it. You're done. If you're like me, you add a little bit of protection here and you might want to throw a little rubber grommet or something on the top just to protect your seat. Now let me show you how it looks on the bike. So the backrest is just a quick disconnect. You have your little slot in the seat. You can see where it fits. You can see that little rubber piece that we added. This is your clip to take it on and off. Well, take it off, it goes on without it. And you just put it down into the seat. Just clipped into place. So it's now mounted to the bike. And with it mounted to the bike, in the furthest back position, you can see it's slightly behind the back of the seat. So when you're sitting here and you lean up, your back is just in front of the backrest. That means that when you're sitting on the seat and you're all the way back of the seat and you're right in front of it, you can actually lean back just a little bit, slouch your back a little bit, recline back a little bit when you want to, have that extra room to move. Now, the only way that's available is because of that bottom bracket, we lifted the, the nose of the bottom bracket up a little bit. It changed that angle. Now all the way back position is far enough back that we can get away from the backrest just a little bit. Now you're, when you slouch a little bit, you're gonna touch it, but you can slouch a little bit. You can recline just a little bit. Before we did that, the nose sat lower. That brought this forward. When this was forward, you had to sit up basically perfectly straight. Now, maybe if you're shorter, that wouldn't have been an issue. I'm six foot two, and I can tell you that when I sat in the seat, I had to sit perfectly straight up and down or, of course, forward because the adjustment is all forward. Let me pull the lever over here on adjustment so you can see. That is all the way forward. And when it's all the way forward, you could move it down so your passenger can get on easier, especially if you throw a tour pack on. But that's your all the way forward position. That's putting you sitting way up here. Now, if you're short, that's probably fine. Or if you want to move it up in your seat so you can kind of lean back, kind of push on a little bit and kind of stretch your back out, you know, that's, that's an option. But it goes from all the way here to all the way back where you saw it to where you can get it off your back. Or... Mount it where it says from the factory, and you can go from here to the back of the seat and never get away from it. So that's the install. That's the little modification that I did to make it a little bit more comfortable uh, for a taller rider or for anybody that doesn't want to have to lean against it the whole time. Okay, hopefully that gives you some insight on how to mount the adjustable backrest from Harley. Little modifications of what to do to make it a little bit easier, a little bit better wear on your paint, a little more safety with that cap, a little bit more adjustment on the backrest. I know it's kind of a long video, but I want to put it out there with some details so you know exactly what it was, what to do, and uh, give you a better picture. So, all right, careful, ride safe, ride like you're invisible because a lot of people don't see you, and uh, check out some of the other videos. Thanks for watching.